This is a video to show how I do my Borderlands inspired self shading technique. I'm sure there are other ways to go about it, but this is mine. Even though typically you'd be doing this for a costume, uh, for this example, I'm going to be turning this ordinary white box I found in my basement to this. It's kind of cool. What you'll need. Craft foam scraps, Mod Podge, hot glue gun, acrylic paint, black sharpie or paint pens, and something to cell shade. So I started by hot gluing scraps of craft foam to the box. You can make a screw head looking thingy by cutting two circles and cutting the center chunk out of one of the circles and then gluing them on top of each other. I used more foam to make it look like the box had a clasp. Add other random pieces to make it look like panels to give it some dimension. Remove excess hot glue strands that you have, then cover the entire box with Mod Podge. This helps to make the foam paintable since foam is kind of like a sponge and it'll just soak up any paint. As a handy tip, stick a pen or something under the lid so it doesn't glue shut when you're drying it. So you want to base coat the entire box with one color. You might need to do another coat. Wait for it to dry, and luckily, acrylic paint dries pretty quickly. Now bring in a lighter accent color. You can usually just add a little bit of white to the color you use to base coat. I tend to use my fingers as tools when working, which makes a big mess, but it's more fun. Now I bring in a gray secondary color for some of the panels. Since Borderlands takes place in a dystopian world and everything's all post-apocalyptic and dirty and grungy, many of the objects are old and rusty. So add some brown and red together to create rust. Time to paint the screw head thingies. Don't forget to paint the sides. With the same gray color, paint along the sides to make it kind of look like the paint is chipping away. You can add a little bit of water to the black paint shade some of the areas of the box and lightly wipe it away with your finger or a paper towel. To make the flat parts more interesting, use the same mixture to dirty it up in random areas. Drying time. Now for the fun part. Grab a black sharpie or paint pen and trace the edges of just about everything. This is what really gives whatever you're working on the borderlands look. I used a tiny brush for some of the areas I couldn't get to with a sharpie. You may also want to use white to highlight some of the metal parts. Aside from tracing edges in black, the Borderlands artists tend to draw random lines and lines that don't quite match up with the edge to give it a little bit more character. And you're done! If you like, you could wait for everything to dry and then spray on something to protect it like a clear enamel. You can even glue on a layer of felt on the bottom like I did. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I did a lot of this borderlands eating stuff up lately for a recent convention I went to. My friend Kate of Organized Chaos Costuming, she'd make pieces and I would cel shade them. It really makes a lot of difference when cosplaying a Borderlands character to add that little bit of cel shading look to it, to make it look like you came right out of the video game. Let me know if you have any questions about this tutorial or anything artsy related at all. Help figure stuff out. Shout out to XGeek for supporting this tutorial. Thanks for watching.